Hi everyone, today is National Are You OK Day. Have you got a feeling that someone you know or care about isn't behaving as they normally would? Perhaps they seem out of sorts, more agitated or withdrawn than they normally are, or they're just not themselves. Trust that gut feeling and act on it. By starting a conversation and commenting on the changes you've noticed, you could help that family member, friend, or classmate open up. If they're not okay, you can follow these conversation steps to show that they're supported and help them find strategies to better lighten their load. If they are okay, that person will know you're someone who cares enough about them to ask. Kai, could you tell us what the first conversation step is? Thanks, Mr. Robertson. The first step is to ask, are you okay? This is a conversation starter. Try to be relaxed, friendly, and concerned in your approach. Help them to open up by asking questions like, how are you going? And what's been happening? Mention specific things that have made you concerned about them, like, you've been less chatty lately, what's been going on? Imogen, can you tell us about step two? Thanks Kai. Step two, listen with an open mind. Take what they say seriously and don't interrupt or rush the conversation. Don't judge their experiences or reactions, but acknowledge that things might seem a bit tough for them. If they need time to think, sit patiently with silence. And show that you've listened to them by repeating back what you've heard in your own words and ask if you've understood them correctly. Hugo, can you tell us about step three? That's great advice, Imogen. Step three is to encourage action. To help encourage action, you can ask things like, what have you done in the past to manage similar situations? Or how would you like me to support you? You could also suggest some things like, when I was going through a difficult time, I tried this. You might find it useful too. Encourage them to see a health professional or trusted adult. You could say, I'm happy to help you find the right person to talk to. Be positive about getting through tough times. Paris, could you take us through step four? Sure can, Hugo. So the fourth and final step is to check back in. You can pop a reminder on your phone to call them in a couple of weeks and if they're really struggling, maybe even sooner. You could say, I've been thinking about you and just wanted to know how you're going and check back in with you. Ask if they've found a better way to manage the situation. If, and if they haven't done anything, no need to judge them. Maybe they just need someone to listen to them for a moment. Stay in touch and be there for them. Genuine care and concern can make a real difference in someone's life. Back to you, Andy. What wonderful advice from you all. Remember, all it takes is a few simple words. Are you okay to get the conversation started? Keep healthy and safe Team Damascus and please look out for each other.